VR, my base of operations. Now I've done some things in the past that I'm not proud of, but I want to make amends. And I thought, what better use for a former meth lab than as a pig farm? <laughs> pig farm. <laughs> we can even reuse all of the old hazmat suits. These rubber suits keep you lovely and clean because the pig's a dirty animal. We keep pig, pig food, yeah, pig food in the old chemical barrels. All part of the recycling process, you see. Paper. Oh, so you agree that it was a monster? Or do you think it was Sally Edwards? <laughs> you, you think it was a monster? Come on. Are you, are you really seriously asking me that question? We're just trying to get a broad opinion. There's no that. such thing as monsters, mate. You know, I've, I have. I've seen horror people. I went to war and, you know, I've, I've seen mankind is, creates the horror. You know, it's not, it's no monsters. If Scooby Doo taught us nothing, mate, it's that monsters are men. I hope you don't mind, but I've borrowed this because my pyjamas, you see, they're in the tumble dryer. Absolutely fine, son. Okay, I'll get you all tucked in nice and tight and nice and ready for bed, shall we? Yeah, get you all, all tucked in nice and tight. Right. Night, night, son. Night, mother. Oh, son. Don't forget me lavender water. What am I thinking? Of course I'll put some lavender water on. We're freshening you up for bed, Mother. There we go. Thank you so much. Mmm. Oh. Oh, yes. Mmm. 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 <laughs> So 
he came to me saying it's time we produced the television. I had an interest in producing and uh, I'd garnered quite a bit of experience assisting at the BBC. He knew I was keen on the direction. He appointed me with producing this idea of a show. He would address the audience and then he would welcome them to his world of the unexplained. It was all thrillingly in-house too. We even established a PMRI sonic sound studio for the course. This was headed up by Celia Clampton, who was known to Perry and I for her forays into early electronic music. Bolden loved creatives too, and loved to surround himself in this kind of environment. These were exciting times.